Welcome back to SB Nation. Everybody appears to be talking about Dark Knight Rises, the new Batman flick. I, I seem to have heard something about this. And we have decided we're gonna compare Batman, it's Batman or Batman? Uh, Batman. Batman characters to NFL people in general. It's a totally original blog concept. It's an original concept because Batman characters aren't really sports figures. But we need to tie this into sports somehow. We're gonna mesh it really well. So okay, let's start with the, the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Who's Batman? I would say uh, Commissioner Roger Goodell. Commissioner Roger Goodell, how you does know, that work? He's got kind of two public faces. He's the uh, the judge, jury, and executioner of, yep. of NFL players who go uh, uh, awry. Mm -hmm. And he's also the public face of the NFL and kind of like the suit and multimillionaire guy. So, Would you have been surprised if Roger Goodell was nicknamed the Dark Knight in high school? I would not be surprised. No. Uh, he's the Ginger Knight, maybe. The Ginger Knight. Yeah. That is not nearly as intimidating. <laughs> no. All right, next we have Bane, the enemy of Batman. Bill Belichick. It's too easy. That is easy. Blatantly evil and mumbles a lot. Can't understand, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a definite bane. Evil, grumbles. Next, we have Alfred, always loyal servant. The, the loyal manservant of Roger mm -hmm. Goodell would, uh, so Peter King. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean. it's a weird visual for me. Yeah. To picture Peter King as literally Roger Goodell's butler. I, it, I, I, I serves him breakfast in the morning. I see that. He could, he probably butters his toast. <laughs> really well, that's <laughs> uncomfortable. Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman, I think this one's kind of tough because uh, as far as I know, there aren't any female NFL players. As far as we know. But uh, I'm gonna go with Michael Vick and stick with me for a second. All right, uh, so, I'm curious. Uh, athletic, live, mm -hmm. cat-like reflexes. Yep. Uh, a natural enemy of dogs. That was a little bit of a, actually that makes sense. Yeah. That makes perfect sense, that hits right. Yeah. All right, next, Commissioner Gordon, which is kind of weird, because not a ton of real big You think like, we've already used up the commissioner on Roger Goodell, right. so. We don't, it would I, have been too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah too obvious. Uh, so right. I'd say Jeff Fisher on the strength of his mustache alone. That's fair. Yeah. I think that works. Uh -huh. Just when, when all else fails, Go for the stash. He's been, he's been auditioning for the role of Commissioner <laughs> Gordon for the last 17 years. Who hasn't been? All right, Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward, yeah, not very believable as an NFL wide receiver. I think right. uh, Mike Wallace should play him instead. That works because they're so close. Yeah. He knows his ticks, he knows how to, how to be a Heinz Ward-like actor right. receiver. I think we have successfully wasted uh, three minutes of people's time until they go to see The Dark Knight Rises. Suckas. <laughs>